A new Consumer Reports investigation out just this morning finds that there may be more mercury in canned tuna than you realize. Consumer Reports found what they called unpredictable spikes of mercury levels in five popular canned tuna brands. You see them on your screen. And they say that pregnant people may be best off avoiding tuna altogether. Now, we should mention that these mercury levels are within FDA standards, which currently say that pregnant people can eat canned tuna in small quantities. We reached out to all five companies in the report, Chicken of the Sea, Safe Catch, Star Kissed, and Wild Planet. They say their products are safe and within FDA standards. Bumblebee did not get back to us in time for you uh, for this report. For more on all of it, let's bring in CBS News medical contributor, Dr. David Agus. Uh, Dr. Agus, uh, good morning to you. Uh, before we get into some of these uh, recommendations, what are the risks of eating canned tuna? Well, you know, mercury is a, a compound that affects neurodevelopment, and so it's a neurotoxin. So if you have a high mercury level while the brain is developing in a fetus, there can be cognitive issues later in life. So we're very cautious in a developing brain. So that is young children and pregnant women especially need to keep mercury away from those neurons that are developing. And I guess I should clarify, it's not necessarily canned tuna that is the issue. This can be in any kind of tuna and not only tuna, right? Other fish as well? Yeah, so mercury is an impurity in coal. And when you burn coal, elemental mercury goes to the, the clouds and then it rains. And then when it comes down into the ocean, bacteria convert it to methylmercury. These bacteria are deep. Fish eat it, and then large fish eat the smaller fish, and that's how they accumulate mercury. And so it's the larger fish and the deeper fish where you get the mercury. Swordfish, tuna, and other big, deep fish have higher levels of mercury, very little mercury, for example, in salmon and trout and other smaller fish that are at the surface. Hmm. Dr. Agus, it's David. Forgive my ignorance, but can you cook it out, so to speak? Like, I love a tuna steak, right? So is that in some ways safer than, let's say, uh, canned tuna off the shelf? It sounds almost like a song. Can you cook it out? Um, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no, is that the, uh, the elements in that food stay there, and they're very stable to heat. So we can't remove it. And what this report showed is that while light tuna has much less mercury than other tuna, it's variable. And you're going to get a batch here and there with a higher level. And so while the FDA is correct that we don't really know the level that can cause neurodevelopment issues, and these are probably safe, why take that risk? You know, a developing baby, you want to give them a chance so they can actually develop normally. 8% of pregnant women in the United States have a mercury level that may affect the brain development of the child. And they're predominantly wealthy women who can afford and buy fish all the time. So we have to be aware of it. So, Dr. Agus, if I was your patient, and I am, what would you tell me? How much tuna can I eat? Should I eat? <laughs> Are you because he's not, not a supposed pregnant to say that on air, David. <laughs> I know, I know. There you go. So... You can have one to three servings a week of tuna, and as an adult, it would be very safe. You know, try to stick to the light tuna if you can. But the key is, you know, don't, it's moderation. Don't have it every day, which some people do, but you really need to have moderation. One to three a day. Oh, a week, I'm sorry. It, real quickly, Dr. Agus, is there any treatment if you do get a higher exposure level? Dana, it's a great question, is that it's just, you know, you, you abstain from it. And if you abstain from fish with mercury, it will go away over several weeks. So there are no pills. There's no chelation. It goes away naturally and is clear from the body. Well, I will not be abstaining. I like my tuna <laughs> with pickles, here, here. mayo, olive oil, and lemon. All of it in there. A little dill, salt and pepper. It is delicious. Moderation. Dr. Agus, moderation, of course. Dr. Agus, thank you very much.